welcome back to another cooking video. Today I'm going to show you how to make mini stuffed peppers. We enjoy this a lot. It's low carb and keto and it's super easy to make. So let's look at the ingredients you're going to need for this. Sweet mini peppers, bacon, cream cheese, shredded cheese, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce. Now that you know what ingredients you're going to need to make this, I'm going to get everything prepared and we'll come back and show you how we're going to make these. All right, you guys, so now I've got everything prepared. Let me show you what I've done. I cleaned and cut our peppers. I've cut the top off, cut them in half, deveined and took out the seeds. I also cooked our bacon so it's nice and crispy. I'm gonna use a whole pack of bacon. It's got about eight pieces of bacon. We like bacon, so we're gonna use all of it. I've got about six ounces of softened cream cheese. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a whole teaspoon Worcestershire sauce and a half a cup of our shredded cheese. So let's get to assembling these. It's really simple. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our softened cream cheese into our bowl. I'm just gonna kind of flatten that out a little bit. You want to have your cream cheese softened because it's gonna make this easier to mix up. Then I'm gonna add my half a cup of shredded cheese, our half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then on my bacon, I'm just gonna take and crumble this by hand into our cream cheese, cheese, Worcestershire mixture. My bacon's all crumbled. Now all I'm gonna do is just mix all of this together. If you're at home or even on your truck, if you have a hand mixer, you could use that to get this all mixed together. But I find that when I you know, leave the cream cheese out to soften for a few hours, it's usually pretty easy to get it all mixed together. I've got our cream cheese mixture. Everything is good and mixed in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff our peppers. Now I have already turned on my oven. It is preheating to 400 degrees while we're stuffing the peppers. So let's get these stuffed. They're all different sizes, so you just kind of got to work with it and do the best you can. But I'll get a little spoon and I just kind of work and stuff that into the pepper and kind of work it around just like that. You don't want to over stuff because when they cook, you don't want the cheese to kind of all melt out. So just stuff them as best you can and they don't have to be perfectly even with your stuffing. <laughs> Just as long as they're stuffed, you know, to your liking, really. And what's cool about this recipe, I'm using bacon, but you could also, you know, substitute that. You could use um, sausage. I have seen a recipe for that. You could use ground beef and make like taco uh, stuffed peppers, which would be really, really good. As always, I will link the recipe I'm using for this. Now, I changed it up a little bit on the recipe that I'm gonna link. It calls for some green onions and cilantro, which we don't have any of those on hand, so I'm not using that. We're just using what we have on hand. But I'll also link a couple recipes that, like I said, you can um, use sausage and cream cheese. I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities, really, that you could stuff these peppers with. I'm gonna get these all stuffed, and we'll come back, and I'll show you what we're gonna bake them at. We've got our peppers stuffed. Now, every time I make this, I usually always have some leftover peppers that I don't have enough filling for. What I usually do with these is I just save them and I'll cut them up and put them in like eggs for breakfast or if we do tacos, I'll cut them up and put them in the taco meat. Save your leftovers, don't throw them out. Our oven has preheated. Again, I have preheated that to 400 degrees. I'm gonna bake them for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. I'll check them at 10 minutes because basically what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna cook them until the cheese is melted and bubbly, a little bit golden brown on the top and they'll be ready to go. So let's pop these in. We'll give them about 10 to 20 minutes and we'll show you what they look like when they're all done. All right, you guys, so these have been cooking right at about 15 minutes and I just checked them and they're looking good and done. So let's get these out and show you what they look like. They smell delicious. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that gooey goodness? So as you see, some of our cheese has started to brown up a little bit. 
on the edges. I find with our oven, the stuff on the outside tends to cook a little bit more than the stuff on the inside with this pan. And I think that's just how it rotates and how it heats up. It's really going to depend on your oven, whether you're cooking them in a convection oven like we have on the truck or at your home. At about the 10 minute mark, start watching them to see how done they're getting. Mine, like I said, took about 15 minutes. There you have it, guys. We have our mini stuffed peppers. Again, these are low carb and keto, super easy to make. I will leave the recipe down in the description box along with a couple other recipes for some alternatives for stuffing like sausage and hamburger meat. So you can try those out as well. If you try these, come back and let me know how you like them. I always love hearing you guys' feedback. Thank you as always for watching and subscribing. Until the next video. Peace, love, and expediting.